Internet has created countless opportunities for global communication. Today, businesses of all sizes can connect with companies from all over the world. The question is, how can your business capitalize on all of this? We have some tips from Philippe Matthews. He is CEO of EmpowerMag.com. Nice to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me, Tom. So the question is, does it have to cost me and my little business a lot of money to make this kind of impact? And your answer is no, but Absolutely. why? Because it really is about a good idea, and it's about knowing your why, knowing your content and why you're doing your website. If you have strong content, mm. understanding that uh, whether you're text-driven, e-commerce-driven, or product-driven, all you need is a good, strong why, and the hows will, found them, will find themselves. And you refer to this overall as an I strategy. Company, Correct. Uh, 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 Internet company. strategy. Internet strategy. Yeah. Yeah, a company has to know its, uh, has to have that into their strategy. And some of the components, as you just mentioned, uh, yeah. knowing the why and yeah. uh, producing an I culture, an Internet culture. Yes. What is that? Yes. Finding people that deal with your personality, that uh, have the same work ethic as you do, uh, that uh, are hungry to be a part of your mission. I uh, subscribe to Zig Ziglar's uh, philosophy, if you help enough other people get out of life what they want, you'll always have in life what you want. And that goes into I, to leveraging your I strategy. So finding people that are hungry, but not necessarily established. They're willing to renegotiate, negotiate, cut deals, step outside the box mm. and look at the big picture and not the here and right now. And then you talk about leveraging your internet culture. Which, correct, which correct. Define that for me. Well, again, b being hungry, finding people who are really wanting to uh, help you because by helping you, they're helping themselves. Mm. Uh, and that moves us into the eye sensitivity, and that is learning how to maneuver and be flexible, be like water. The internet culture is just so rapid, uh, so ever-changing. You want to be fluid. You don't want to be rigid and say, I'm going to stick to this one particular model and I'm not going to do anything else. That's suicide. Yeah. Um, I guess entrepreneurs and folks who really are out there on the front lines making a business and creating new ideas mm -hmm. and new products understand a lot of these, uh, not so much the terms, but the concepts uh, you and other experts talk about. To me, they seem like very general things and mm -hmm. could be almost um, applied subjectively. Uh, obviously, you don't mean them that way. No. It's very simple and very cut, uh, cut uh, straightforward. Uh, creating what I call an ICAM, an Internet Crisis Anticipation Model, a WPO, worst possible outcome. What could happen if everything went wrong? Be prepared for that. What would happen if a, another company came up with your same business model? What happens if you lose key staff members? What mm. would you do? Sitting down with an advisory board uh, in, your, in your particular Internet culture and coming up with these answers to these strategies, to these what ifs. By doing that, and when the inevitable occurs, and it will, you're ready for it. When you're talking to people um, in this area, you know, in, in entrepreneurs and in, in about this subject mm -hmm. in general, what is it they seem to be most confused about? I want the answers to have you found. How? <laughs> how? How? How to get from here to how to get to from there. point A to, to point B. Um, one of the things that we do with I strategies is really simplify the process. And again, that goes back to the I driving force mm. um, that we talked about earlier, and that is finding what content you want, uh, finding out your why, what it is that's, that's your mission, what is it that you want to accomplish with the website. The more, you, the more you can list labels of questions, of answers for that question, that is where the success will come from. And that'll be the ma that will be yeah. the basis of your business plan, everything. Well, in terms of this question of how, are there uh, seminars or, 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 or periodic meetings where entrepreneurs can go to exchange those kinds of ideas or to learn some answers? Oh, absolutely. Well, at Power, in PowerMag.com, we do an actual tour called Going Global, right. uh, where we teach these principles in our day-long workshops. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Philippe Matthews, it's EmpowerMag.com, and Correct. it's very nice to have you with us. Thank you so much, Tony, for Thank the you. opportunity. We uh, wrap up Entrepreneurs Only tonight with that. Uh, coming up tomorrow, we want to tell you about uh, this story. We're going to reintroduce you to a publishing legend who has done some reintroducing of his own. We have a visit with Rolling Stone founder Jan Wenner on the eve of the relaunch of Us Magazine as a weekly tomorrow, 9.30 Eastern Time here on CNN FN. I'm Tony Guida. Thank you, and good night from New York. If you would like to purchase a videotape copy or transcript of this or any other CNN-FN program, please call 1-888-CNN-FN-01.